Well, folks, it's Christmas time again. And last Christmas I had a video that uh, I talked a little bit about it. You can look back. It's about a year ago. It says, Merry Cri... No, wait. So I don't know what I'm going to title this one, but when I get upstairs at the computer, I'll figure something out. But from last year to this year, the world has gotten worse. Specifically, the United States. I'm very disturbed, as are all the other people in the world. Gun control, Obamacare, the ongoing arguments from the Republicans and Democrats. It's very disturbing. It's all you hear about in the news anymore. Shootings, terrorists. I'm really getting tired of it. I'm sure you are too. I'm not sure what we can do to straighten this out. I can tell you this. If they called me this evening to go back in the Army, I would be there at O-Dark 30. I'd have my stuff packed. Well, it's already packed. You've seen that. I've got my rucksack. It's ready to go. They wouldn't have to ask twice. Now, I had hip pocket orders till I was 60. And I was told many times that if they did call us back for a world war, us old guys would teach classes to allow the younger ones that are teaching now to go overseas and assist us. I so wish that would have happened, but with this present administration, there's no second guessing anymore. You're not allowed to talk about them, or the Department of Justice will come after you. So, what good is the First Amendment? Listen to a couple of guys today on the radio, Rush Limbaugh being one of them, one of our local guys at our stations being another. And they're saying, unless you're political correct, the only way you're going to be correct with freedom of speech is keeping your mouth shut. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. That Constitution was written by some very intelligent men. More intelligent than we have in there right now. I don't know what to say on this thing, except that this is my Christmas wish to everybody. I hope nobody else gets hurt by these crazies. Don't try to take my guns from me or my children, because we'll let you know who's boss. But back to the reason for the season, you know what it is. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I hope a Happy New Year, but don't hold your breath. Thank you.